Just got over to Rod's house like 5 o'clock on Wednesday. We're getting ready to head down the Hatfield McCoy Trails. I just got to get my gear in the trailer. We have three of the four bikes loaded up. And we're going to pick up Weber at his shop and uh, head to southern West Virginia. It's like 10 p.m. We got about two hours left to go until we get to Man, West Virginia. Just stopped at a rest stop here along I-64 for a quick stretch, bathroom break, and uh, about ready to get back in the truck. Those are the uh, idiots I'm with. Checked into the hotel. Mattress uh, seems a little firm. up in Man, West Virginia this morning, just a little bit after 8 o'clock. We're going to grab some breakfast, go grab some water and some stuff like that to take out on the trail with us today, and then uh, the ride. Water and uh, maybe you can figure out what the other stuff is. So those of you that follow my channel know that when I'm traveling, I normally like to get up early and get riding early. It's quarter after ten, and uh, we're still at the hotel. Stuck on the first uphill. Mike Zerk to the top, no problems. Of course, Rod Trenary, he's down at the bottom, nowhere to be found. And then Mario's behind him. Of course, Mario, it's his first time we can cut him some slack. Okay, now we got, I hear some movement. Let's get these boys in action.
I don't hear no metal metal on rock, so we're good still. Here comes Mario up the hill. He's in he ahead of Rodney Trenary. Years experience. Mario's his first day really riding anything this difficult. You're doing all right, man. You're ahead of Rod. He's got years experience. Throttle up, throttle up! Man down.
Just got some brake pads for my bike, literally a half mile down the road, so should be good to go for tomorrow. If you come down here to Man, West Virginia, be sure to check out Junction Motorsports. If you got any problems with your bikes or four-wheelers or whatever, these guys are hooking Rod up trying to get his uh, brake lever fixed. I was able to get front brake pads from my bike. Really cool guys and girl. Yeah, CRF 150 will work. All right, so the guys at the other shop, well, they did try to help. It didn't quite work out, so we think we found a part that'll fit Rod's bike, so we're about ready to find out. Oh, my God. dude. Parts before your time, bub. That 125 looks like a survivor. It don't look like it's ever been. God damn, that's bad, dude. Where he is? Ryan. What? Five hundred two strokes. They were street legal. Hey man, thanks. Yes, thank, thank you very much. The remnants of yesterday. All right, guys. Man, West Virginia day two Hatfield McCoy trails. Not sure if we're gonna hit up Bear Wallow or uh, Rock House again today. It's gonna be a little bit shorter. We're gonna be off the bikes by two. Back on the road. Rod's got to get back for a wedding. I got to get back so Noah can race in New Jersey tomorrow. So it's gonna be a busy weekend coming up. Stopped here, time for a little hill climb action between uh, Mike and Rod. We'll see how this goes. That's what I'm talking about, 51 years old, dude. Oh, yeah, he's all out of shape back there. That's it. Oh, 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 oh